well. He is a friend of my wife and I. Anytime we need help or assistance, Marshall and Meg Goble are there to be of assistance to us. So he's going to bring you through the next half of the presentation. Then I'll come back and introduce the motivator, and then we'll move forward so we can close 100% of the room. Get your pen and pencil out and get ready to sign up. Come on. Y'all not smiling at that. <laughs> OK, I want to introduce the son while y'all still like me. And present to others my good friend, the national director, Marshall Goble. Give him a big round of applause. I have a top secret clearance, I can't do things that are shady. Does everybody understand that? 
Once I checked that off, my second concern was, can I do this with my current lifestyle? Saturday morning when I leave, will my wife still have a cell phone? Will the kids still want to watch TV and internet? Will I still drink coffee? Will they pay the electric bill? I think my wife's interested in looking a little bit better for me when I come home. <laughs> See how many things I keep putting up? Those are considered customers in five minutes. So my question was, I knew what I did not want to do, and we're going to have some fun here. I didn't want to knock on your door and vacuum half of the house so you could buy my NASA-approved vacuum for three grand. I wasn't interested in coming and cooking and selling you some cookware. I wasn't interested in putting cream on one side of my face and making it tight. <laughs> if I get the point. I wanted to know, could I fit five links in to my lifestyle because the military gets the hours, my wife and kids get the minutes, and old Marshall gets a few seconds of the day. Do you understand that? So I want to know, could I do this on deployment? Because I knew I had 20 years to go to retire. And four years ago, they showed me I could do this. How many of you have always had a cell phone? Hello. Yeah. The wife said you can never pay it off, so when could you get rid of it? If somebody could show you a competitive rate for something you could never pay off, does that make sense? The people in Marino Valley looking for a way to save a little bit extra without changing anything in your lifestyle. So you guys got to understand, you're already part of the company. Now it's time to put you on the accounts receivable, which is what I'm going to share with you through a system that we use. So my third concern was, if I get involved with five links, what's the worst that can happen? And can it provide a better lifestyle than the military? So what I'll ask of you now, take a look at what it is that you do as a primary job. Look at the guy at the top making all the money. The guy that got there first. The guy that you'll never surpass. And answer the question to yourself, does that person have the lifestyle that you want? For me, there's nobody in the military, active or retired, that has anything close to what I want for my wife and kids. Is that stingy of me? Absolutely not. I truly think I deserve to have it all. Not being arrogant, but I think I deserve to have it all and I'm willing to work for it. So, what we do in five weeks is we have a system, we leverage time. Who would like to have a little bit more time to themselves? That's me. I wish I could extend the next 24 hours as long as we could, but I know what's happening Saturday morning. It's going to be bad. Okay? Then we have what we call residual income, something that most of us are not taught. Your bills are residual, meaning you signed up for your electric bill once, you paid it every month thereafter. Who's a guest in the room? First time looking at this. All right? If you guys at all disagree with me, please raise your hand. Okay? Your bills are residual, meaning they'll always be there, they've always been there, and they'll never go away. They're necessities. You can't go without electric and gas. You're probably going to turn around if you lose your cell phone. The internet runs the world. But our pay is linear. So one of the people in Five Lakes, Double Platinum SVPC, Carter, asked me, how on earth do you plan on getting ahead in life if your bills are residual and your pay is linear? It'll never happen. Right? You might disagree with that. Okay. Let's talk about our system. It's very simple. I'm going to use a, a, a few examples here. I'll use my wife, May. May took a look at the opportunity and said, hey, look, that makes sense. I don't have any questions other than how I get started. The worst thing that can happen to me is I, le I leverage my taxes. And if you're a guest in the room and you're here to dissect this thing and find the negative, the worst thing that can happen to you is your tax leveraging is now in your hands. Meaning you can write off a lot more than you could with the W-2. So May got eight customer points. Now, what is a customer? My wife and I have four cell phones on a family plan through Verizon. Has anybody heard of Verizon? Yes. Verizon allows five weeks to deal with this. I think that's pretty credible. I didn't change anything in my life. I knew who the company was. You show me how to save money on it. That makes sense from a budget standpoint, right? right? So me and my wife have four phones. That's four customers. We have Direct TV. Anybody heard of them? Yeah. We have Verizon Files Internet. Protect America Home Security, natural gas in the house, and her and I each have identity theft protection. That's 10 customers. Did I leave my front door? No. Did I stop vacuums or candles or anything else in my garage? I was going to say adult toys. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't stop anything in my garage. 
and I'm not selling anything out of the trunk of my car, am I? What am I doing? It's the same thing I was doing to begin with, right? So May got eight customers. And then May brought a gentleman into the business called Mike. Mike Riley, he's a chief in the Navy. I actually brought him in, but what do you expect? He's getting paid off of it. I showed May how to get some customers, but all I did was show her how to do what she had been doing. Does everybody understand this? There's no licenses, there's no tests, there's no certifications. Just pay your bill. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. Mike, can you do that? Yes. Mike Rob, can you do that? Yes. So, May's paying bills that were being paid before the conversation that will always be paid. Guess what? Mike Riley has the same bills. Who in here can relate? Once May got her points, Mike got his points, May got paid $50. Well, that's cool, because then May brought a lady in the business called Ann. When Ann got her customers, May made $1,200. In 30 days, she made $1,250. What happened? May saved money on bills that her and Marshall were paying. Mike saved money, and Ann saved money. May made $1,250. What would you have to do right now at your current profession to make an extra four figures in the month of January? Who wants to know what I have to do? I have to leave for eight months on Saturday. I'll make about that much money being gone eight months. I think it's easier to leave or save money on bills that we're going to be paying anyway that will never go away. I think that's fair. Does anybody see a challenge to this so far? Not hard at all. This is the power of the five links compensation plan. And just walked in the room about me. Welcome, man. Okay, 20 people joined the team. Now, these 20 people made an adult decision that this made sense to them. They saw the opportunity. They went through the same system and procedures as everybody else in the room. And they ended up on the team. What did they do? Well, let's go back. What did May, Ann, and Mike do? They got customers. Okay, everybody see the customers? Did they leave their front door? Did they have to haggle anybody about buying anything? <laughs> Learn a new product or service to sell to someone? All they did was pay their bills, right? Yes. Most of us can do that online or from a phone. How hard is that? This is the power of residual income. It started with May. It ended up with Mike. And then Ann joined the team. Now people from Hawaii, Alaska, <laughs> Japan, and Philippines are on the team. We have 20. 20 people get 20 customers. Jared, how many customers do you have? 59, I have 33. What if we all get 20? I didn't leave my front door, did you? Not. I have 33 customers in my house. If I see that. I'm not interested in knocking on doors, why? Because I'm not home to knock on doors, okay? 20 people get 20 customers. On 50 cent per customer, you're gonna make $200 a month. Question goes back, what would you have to do to make an extra $200 a month? Think about that. All we're doing is paying bills and making 50 cents off of it. Now, the 50 cents can go all the way to $50, but so let's keep the math simple. And if you're a guest in the room, this green is what will make you lose sleep tonight. Because you're gonna do what I did. You're gonna go through your Facebook, your email, and your cell phone contacts. You're gonna put that number here. There's no maximum number here, but we'll keep it at minimum. And then you're gonna make a mistake to make that a dollar or two. What if this 50 cent was a dollar? Now you're making 400. But remember what Ramel said, the team grew. We started back in San Diego in 2010. There was about 20 of us. A few of us did the test of time and they're driving Bentley's. I'm still deploying, but my business is coming, okay? The team grew up to Moreno Valley. Now there's 200 people. Are there at least 200 people in this room that you guys know that pay bills? Yes. Who would laugh at 50 cent? I did, until they put it in this equation. Now I'm making half of what the Navy pays me every month. Navy pays me about $4,000 a month. I'm making half of that by saving money on bills that May and I had anyway, and I bless somebody else to do the same thing, because who knows somebody that could probably save a little bit of money every month? How many of you guys are affiliated with the church where you guys give to needy families? That's what churches do. They give back, right? They can't afford it. What if you could just show them how to save money on a bill that they're coming to you at to begin with? Health care, coffee, health and wellness. Okay, but let's talk real money. 
Anybody know anybody that's Filipino? <laughs> Asian? Dominican Republic? Let's drop the bomb. This year it's going to happen. And you guys know anybody from Mexico? Anybody know any Indians in the room? We got the first Indian SVP on our team here tonight. What happens is five things went international. 2,000 people joined the team in the month of November. Now you're making 20 grand a month. Here's the story. In less than four years, a stay-at-home mom with six kids makes more money in a month than her husband does all year in the Navy. Who's interested? Hello. And that's 50 cents. Dwight is a national director. Myself, my, I'm a national director. Jared's a national director. Our 50 cent is three dollars. But here's a realistic number. If you want it bad enough, you got to stay around and watch it flourish. Who agrees? Yes. You can't bounce over ship to ship to ship. It'll never work. Because my wife and I have dealt with eight deployments in the last four years, our team total is 36,000 people. And they're just giving us 50 cents. You guys understand the blessing that happened to me because I made a decision as an adult. I did my research. I trusted successful people. And we ended up living the compensation plan. They might understand that. Okay? Now, you might look at that and say, it's not believable. And, you know, that's an adult decision that you're going to have to make. But when I saw this, I understood that my third criteria had been met. Can this pay more than the military would? Do you guys know that a four-star general or admiral only makes $19,336 a month? Do you guys understand the attitude and ego I have in the military? <laughs> <laughs> Who's active duty right now in the room? Just me and Mike? Oh, Mike, you know. <laughs> he outranks me in the Navy, but that doesn't matter when it comes to this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what I said. That's too good to be true. What's the catch? Here's the catch. Everything comes out of price. Who agrees? Yeah. How many of you guys still in this room have a student loan you're paying down? Be honest. Yeah. Your profession, sir, are you like a doctor? Doctor, did you have to pay your way through school? Or grant your loan? My mother's a dentist. Took her about six years to pay off what she went to school for. A couple hundred thousand dollars. Okay? How many of you have kids? I pay the price as well. All right. A kid costs you nine months. Who is interested in living a, a happy marriage? Marriage costs a lot, uh, not necessarily money, sometimes it does, but it costs a lot of effort, a lot of work. Your current profession now, add up how much money you spend going back and forth to work every month and tell me if it exceeds $250. But use last year's gas prices. Now it's cheap. All right. <laughs> So here's the deal. To be part of Five Links, there's a one-time investment. What are you getting? You're getting a 1099. Who's familiar with business? If you're an employee, you're going to file a W-2. They take your wages taxable first. 1099, you get to take it off the top, but you also get to leverage things like your house payment, your mileage, your, your current utilities, vacations, and food. Okay? So for a price of $250, you can get in the system, but that doesn't matter when you know how to get your money back. That's the important part. It's like going into combat. <coughs> Don't send me somewhere I'm going to lose. Let me at least go in with an advantage. Here's the advantage. You're going to pay two people to get started. You're going to get customers and two people that want to do the same. You're going to make twelve fifty. Is that easy enough for you? Yes. yes. You don't even have to leave your front door if you don't choose to. Okay? Here's our rate structure in the company. We have executive traders. Who's an executive trader in the room? Raise your hand. Executive trainers, on average, can make up to $2,000 a month. Executive directors, where are you at? Okay? Executive directors can make up to 8000 How many of you would agree that 8000 is a pretty good cash flow on a side part-time job? Yes. Okay? National directors can make around $15,000 a month. Jared, is that true? Absolutely. He said very, the posture. <laughs> that means he's done. Jared just came from the East Coast to bless us up here. Then we have senior vice presidents, which make around $50,000 a month. 
My wife and I have been blessed. We have 11 senior vice presidents on our team and one platinum senior vice president. And I know for a fact that each one of them have seen this multiple months in a row. So for everybody thinking that you can't surpass the people that brought you in, these people have been in the business less than two years. I've been in four years. I'm here and they are there and we've helped every one of them out because we feel you have to be servant leaders to the team who agrees. Here's why you want to be an SVP. You get 5,000 shares of stock in the company. What if you had 5,000 shares of stock in Google or Facebook? The next day went public, it was over. <laughs> what I mean by that is the word want is over for you. For five weeks, we're a privately held company. We've been featured in the Wall Street Journal, Inc. Inc. 5,000 list nine years in a row. Gentlemen like Les Brown are here tonight. Everybody see the picture, okay? Then you get a Global Links bonus, annual vacation for two, an expense account. And one of the biggest perks is they give you a silver BMW that they pay $800 a month for any series that you want. Anybody interested in driving a car that somebody else will pay for? The tax tag, title, insurance is all in your name. They pay it off in four years, and then guess what happens at 800? It keeps going to you. Who wants to be an SVP? All it takes is five people, five links. Everybody wants to be an SVP. My goal is to be a platinum SVP, because I want to be the first active duty guy in the military enlisted enlisted to drop to the base in a Bentley. That's my <laughs> goal. You guys are here with me tonight, sharing the stage with Les Brown. Who wants to help me achieve this goal? Here's the key. For me to hit this position, I have to help a lot more people with SVP. Who wants to have this? Yeah. I do, but I want that. Uh, I want to make a statement. Because so many people in the military said this will never work. That's my goal. Platinum SVP, $4,000 a month for a car. You can see one sitting out in the parking lot tonight. Okay? Like I said, my mentor, Ramel Hernandez, is a platinum. And one of the gentlemen on my team, a business partner, is a platinum. I'm sandwiched in between multiple millions of dollars getting love from everybody. It's okay to go on deployment, right? So when you get platinum, you get a platinum bonus pool. Who's going to Tampa next week? Woo! Next week, 30 people, two of them are in this room, are going to split around $2 million. How would you like to start your month off with five figures in your savings account? What about six? Six figures starting January. That's a pretty cool thing. Then you get 5,000 more stock options and a world vacation. Then you get the ring and the pennant for the ladies. Anybody interested in seeing what that looks like in real time? I as a Then we have Diamond SVP, which is the position someone's going to hit this year in the company. Five links says representatives come first. My fourth criteria, remember my first three, is it credible, is it legal, can I do it, does it pay more? My fourth criteria was who is going to show me how to do this? Because I know how to jump out of planes, dive, chase bad guys, and have kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. I didn't know how to present or talk in front of people. But what if you got paid 50 cents for everybody you spoke to? Would you do it? If it hurt you bad enough, you would. Okay? Diamond SVP, somebody's going to hit it this year. You get a $300,000 bonus and then 10 grand a month extra. None of this would happen unless we had training and support. Who's experienced the training and support of 5 minutes SoCal? No matter what team you're on, we don't do that here. It don't matter what team you're on, we, we, none of us win until we all win. Right? Okay. So this is considered a local event. Then we have regional events every year. Then we have an international event, which is three a year. Next week in Tampa is going to be the first of 2015. And then they're going to have one in March in the Philippines. Okay? So every January, May, and September we have an international event. We have a personal website which has a university where you can learn how to run your business and also business reporting because we don't want to burden you with having to track your customers, where your money's at, your business partner's phone numbers, even things such as business card templates, you know, a, a printout flyer for somebody that wants to use it, things like that. This is a simple, at tax season, you just press print and it's done for you. Nobody wants a burden of accounting and stuff like that. So all this is done on a personal website. Now, let me be up front with you. Okay, I don't like any IEDs. Nobody's going to step on something and get blown up. It costs you $249 to get started. Your only monthly expense is $49 a month, and that is what runs your personal website. Does anybody see an issue with $49 a month? Right now we're going to take a mindset check. 
If you're looking at this only to make $49 a month, don't do it. $49 a month is never an issue as an executive trainer. Why? Because they can make up to $2,000 a month. Is $50 an issue to run your business? No. $50 is a $600 tax return at the end of the year. Everybody see that? The best part about the business website is it's four points. How many do you have to get to start? Eight. Eight. That's simple, right? Okay, so what I want to do is close this thing out. There's two ways to get started in five links. You can fill out a paper application and let somebody know when you are ready when you're ready to get started. The other way is give with somebody that invited you here tonight and let them know, hey, look, I see an opportunity and I'm interested. There's always three people that look at this though. The first says, hey, I'm not interested, I can't wait to get outside. That's you. We won't work together. We won't work well together at all. Okay? The first person is too skeptical. They gotta go check in with somebody to make a decision. There's two types of people in the world: suggestion makers and decision makers. Five links is decision maker game. Alright? The second person says, hey, look, on a scale of zero to ten, I'm about a seven or eight because I have some questions. If you can clarify my questions, I'll be ready to get started tonight. Okay? That's a, that's the second type of person. The third type of person says, hey, listen, when Dwight showed me that you guys are involved in health care, energy, one of the only companies able to sell Obamacare life insurance or health insurance, I'm in. Because I understand i got to do that anyway. The worst thing that can happen to me is tax leveraging. That, you're number three. You're ready to get started today. So what I want you to do is take, a, take your temperature on a scale of 0 to 10, figure out your number, let the person that invited you here know the number after Mr. Brown speaks, and if you're interested in getting started, pull one of us over to the side, let us welcome you, and let us launch your business so that you can begin to come on as SVP at the next international event. Is that fair? Yeah. What I want to do is flip it back to the person that is hosting the event tonight, the fellow national director, Mr. Dwight Fletcher. He's going to bring up Mr. Les Brown. What I want everybody to do is please stay seated, verify your phones are off. We're going to swap PowerPoints real quickly, and then you guys are going to get the uh, experience while we came here tonight. Is that fair? I appreciate everybody's time, and if I do not talk to you tonight, I will see you in September. Is that okay? All right, Mr. Dwight Fletcher, where are you at?